Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Landscape Management Magazine. Today I'm being joined by Mark Tipton. He is the CEO of Aspire Software. Mark, it's great to see you. Great to see you, Seth. Last time we were in person, I think we were in uh, Phoenix and you had uh, call sign Cujo with you at uh, your guys' uh, users conference. We did, we did. That was a fun time. Hard to believe that was uh, almost a year and a half ago. I know, it, it uh, is. We've been doing events like that. I know it. I'm looking, I'm, and I see you guys got some more events cooking. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you guys in person. But before before we get into that, I want to talk, you know, we just had our LM 150 issue come out. I appreciate you guys uh, partnering with us and, and being our sponsor of that. Just want to talk to you about uh, a couple of things that maybe you saw on the list and, and just kind of do a, a little retrospective of it. That took a, that that issue, as you can imagine, takes a lot of work to compile and put together. Uh, and once it comes out, we're pretty excited and happy about it. And, and I think it, uh, a lot of, of our readers are happy with it too, hopefully. But I was just wondering, uh, you know, as you cruise through the list, uh, did you see some familiar names in there? Did you guys have you see some of your uh, clients in there? Oh, we absolutely do. Um, and, and thanks for the opportunity. We love uh, being a part of this um, because we think this list represents the best of the best in the industry. So, and we've been fortunate uh, to earn the trust of uh, many of the names on that list. Um, our clients represent some of the best, most well-run businesses in the industry. Uh, they have strong leadership teams with deep roots in the industry and know what it takes to build a, a solid business and develop great cultures around that uh, with committed teams that love what they do. So uh, we love being a part of that. Great. And, you know, for the folks who might be watching this who know of you guys, let me just give you a chance to kind of talk about what it is you guys do. How do you help those companies that are on the LM 150 list? Yeah, when you talk to uh, any contractor on the list or not on the list, I mean, the biggest issue they tell you they face is the labor shortage and the challenges that brings. Um, and if you look at one of the primary functions that we do, uh, that Aspire does extraordinarily well, is it manages labor and jobs. Um, knowing where your winners are and where your losers are is critical to, to managing a successful landscape company. Uh, so whether it's evaluating the performance of a branch or a crew or a specific job, uh, we shine where we provide tremendous abilities to, to drill into the information to, to make good decisions. Um, and I'd say, you know, another aspect of what we do there is uh, pricing your work accurately, you know, whether it's bidding a new job or uh, renewing a job, um, having the data you can trust is key, um, which is another area where we shine. If you sell work based on a bad estimate, you're going to lose on that job one way or another. Um, and we help prevent that from happening. So uh, being able to, to help these companies that are on that list is something that's motivational for us and, uh, and fun. Okay, great. So now, looking at the list, you know, the, the smallest company on here, James Martin Associates, came in at number one, uh, 150. It's a $13 million company. Um, there's a lot of, lot of revenue on, the, on the, these. These are, big, these are big companies, a lot of employees. But do, is there a right size company that you guys work with? Or you guys work with big, you know, there's obviously a lot of companies that are, you know, looking at this list and they're looking up at it. Is, is there, is there, you guys take care of small, medium, large? Was there a right fit for you guys? Uh, we, we take care of all companies, Seth, um, uh, in, including James Martin. Uh, they're a great client of Aspire's. Um, you know, in many respects, the smaller companies have the same issues as, as the larger companies when it comes to managing labor and making sure you're taking the right jobs, uh, you know, back to that concept of identifying winners and losers. Uh, margins are so tight with labor costs increasing, and there's just not room to make a mistake. Um, you know, we, we hear the story all the time from contractors that uh, how they made a good profit when they were a million or a $2 million business, but as they grew, their margins eroded. Um, and it's somewhere in that, that revenue range there, you know, that one to two million where QuickBooks and spreadsheets just don't cut it anymore. It's hard to keep track of all that in your head and you need business management software. But we also recognize that even even the smallest contractors uh, needed a system uh, as well, um, but one that was really easy to use and focused more on the operations of, of scheduling and, and billing work, uh, which is why we uh, acquired crew control back in January. 
Um, it's an incredibly simple to use system, um, but it drives immediate uh, value to contractors who just need to manage the basic functions. Um, you know, crew control has been in, embraced incredibly well. Uh, it's more than doubled in size uh, since January. Um, so that's been a great addition uh, to our product line. It really puts us in the position uh, to help contractors regardless of their size. Okay, great. Uh, Mark, you know, having the chance to be around uh, you and, and some of your uh, employees and, and, and just you, as well as your users, I kind of know the mood of your company and, and the way you guys work. And, and um, one of the themes of our of our issue was we, we said something about culture, about how to keep a good culture and how important that was, especially in what was an unusual year uh, to keep, you know, let, letting your employees know that you care, that you're, that, you know, it's not just a job, it's not a grind every day. Um, how do you guys aspire? How, how, how have you uh, kept that culture and, and what's your philosophies on how to just make 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 it uh, not a nine to five, but more of a, you know, a, a part of your life? Yeah, I mean, we, we see culture as a as a significant difference maker, um, especially when you look at the best companies out there. Uh, and, and we actually see Aspire ourselves playing a role in that. You know, our software uh, helps with that. The best cultures uh, we see focus on accountability and quality, um, which ultimately drive customer satisfaction. Uh, and, and that culture is based on consistency. And, and you need to create consistency across teams, across locations. Uh, and to do that, you need performance information. You know, without that, it's difficult to, to know who needs to be rewarded, recognized, who needs coaching. Um, and we see that same thing internally uh, with Aspire. I mean, we've been growing dramatically uh, over these last uh, seven years. Um, and uh, we create our own system of accountability and, and really identify those values that make us us. You know, what are the things um, that drive you um, and, and, and motivate you and help you hire the right people? Um, as you go forward, um, we think it's all about culture. Um, and, and again, it's, it's another reason why we love um, being a part of, of sponsoring this list, because I, I look at the list uh, and there's some amazing cultures uh, on that list uh, of those top 150. Okay, everybody, this is Mark Tipton. He is the CEO of Aspire Software. I'm Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Landscape Management Magazine. Uh, we're here celebrating our LM150. Thanks to our friends at Aspire for supporting us on this. And uh, you can read more on landscapemanagement.net. Thanks a bunch.